The Arcturian Group, November 19, 2017, by Marilyn Raphael. Greetings to all in this season of giving thanks and gratitude. Thanksgiving is considered by most to simply be another seasonal holiday. However, as with all things, it is representative of a deeper spiritual reality, that of abundance and love. When one is filled with gratitude, whether or not he is aware of it, he is in a consciousness of, I have the truth that manifests as abundance. Many all over the world over are experiencing varying degrees of lack at this time. We have stated many times that because of their true nature, humans are creators, but few have realized, accepted, or even believed this. When you declare to yourself and others, I do not have, mind, the translator of consciousness and substance of matter, lovingly proceeds to provide lack for you. This state of consciousness is the substance from which peace is formed true peace, the only permanent peace that can ever be. When a majority realizes self-completeness within the one there will come a sense of camaraderie, oneness, and with it permanent peace. Once this level of consciousness is attained, an individual begins to live out from the realization that everyone including self, is infinitely supplied with everything necessary by virtue of their true identity as being self-sustained and self-maintained. There is no longer even the temptation to look to or forcibly take from another person, country, or even planet because there is the realization that whatever is needed is already present within and will flow through, but not from the outer scene. This truth is difficult if not impossible for anyone living fully in a third dimensional belief system to comprehend, but assistance is available on all levels of awareness. However, third dimensional solutions are always arise out of the energy of duality and separation, and will therefore sometimes work and sometimes won't. Duality You, the awakened ones, must begin to or at least make a serious effort to incorporate principles of truth as you become aware of them, not just the easy ones. Two of the most difficult are relationships and money. Spiritual truths that underlie relationships and money remain buried under a great deal of fear and programming even for those who consider themselves to be somewhat enlightened. Deeply held beliefs regarding both remain alive and well in your world making world concepts regarding relationships and money difficult to see and move beyond. An attained consciousness of I have because I am will manifest outwardly regardless of how mundane the seeming need, a ride somewhere, a mechanic, or even a tooth pulled. The realization, not just intellectual knowledge, of I am self-sustained and self-maintained because I am, will draw to you the right person, thing, or experience when needed. Energy aligns with like energy. Then, even seemingly human and ordinary activities will carry the energy of harmony instead of effort, force, and frustration. Gratitude is not an emotion, but is rather a state of consciousness. Gratitude is a facet of love, because it is the natural expression of realizing. I embody all the divine qualities oneness I have been seeking, joy, peace, harmony, and a sense of completeness that can never be found in a world of separation. When one fully attains the realization of one omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient consciousness as being all there is, he becomes a gentle, quiet, and permanent consciousness of gratitude. In the United States, Thanksgiving is a specific holiday, but every person in every country at some point, perhaps not in this lifetime, must learn to live their own thanksgiving every moment of the day. Gratitude is a spiritual reality, and cannot be limited to a specific date or time. Many view thanksgiving commercially, as being a launch pad for holiday selling and buying. This year, amidst all the noise and hullabaloo, pause and open your awareness to the realization of gratitude as not being simply a rote, thank you for the people, things and events already present in your life but rather as being acknowledgement of the infinite source of abundance available, to all within the I that I am. We wish to address current events as each day seems to bring some new aspect of chaos, that results in pain and suffering for others. There is an element of unenlightened individuals, who thrive on the chaos, adding to it whenever they can, through words and actions some of which are valid and some not. News programming often add to the chaos in this way. Know that you are right now witnessing the great and long predicted shift. Many still believe that the evolution of the world termed the shift is to be a future event, one that will happen at a later time when the world is more stable and evolved. 
No, dear ones, you are in it now. Frequencies of higher dimensional light, are rapidly exposing and breaking up multiple layers of dense old belief structure, and much more is to come. Gaia, who is a living soul, is clearing herself of energetic debris in readiness for her own ascension. Try not to despair or go into doubt, as you observe the outer scene for your energy, will simply add strength and power to appearances. At the same time, it is important not to stick your head in the sand while declaring, God is all. Everything is illusion for that is pretending a state of consciousness not yet attained. Being in the world but not of it, is a very fine dance in which one plays the material game according to his highest awareness, while never forgetting the truth behind all appearances, good or bad. Be grateful even for the pain and suffering you may have had or are now experiencing, because these are the experiences that will give birth to that new state of awareness, you are now ready and have asked for. Nothing is random once a soul chooses to awaken. Most people are not consciously aware, choosing to awaken because this decision is usually made on a deeper level, often pre-birth, with guidance from the higher self. At a certain point in everyone's evolutionary journey, experiences manifesting solely from energies of duality and separation begin to cease, and instead, even those that seem to be very three-dimensional, become tools for moving into a more evolved state of awareness. The experience of being in a physical body on Earth is a short one, compared to the reality of your infinite nature, and at some point every soul will choose to go home for a much-needed rest. Many of you are tired, often longing to go home, but are instead choosing to stay in spite of personal and global difficulties, in order to assist the transition of mankind and Gaia with your light. You are helping others and Gaia through your actions and words, but mainly through the enlightened energy you carry and broadcast through your energy field, which will draw to you those ready for guidance and information. Hold nothing back from the serious seekers, but keep your pearls close and away from any who seek only to mock or degrade them. Rejoice in your ability to assist and be a part of the mankind's ascension process. You came for a reason, and in spite of how things may seem, when compared with the human sense of how things should be, your intention will fulfill itself in, and as your life. By simply living out from your highest attained state of consciousness each day in ordinary situations, you are teaching others how to handle their own lives in a higher way. Never believe that you are doing nothing, for often a doing nothing, is a being everything, your attained state of consciousness is always flowing out from you to all receptive without any effort on your part. Avoid comparing yourselves to others, but instead realize that every person has individual talents and gifts. In seeking to be like another, you deny your own completeness and will manifest exactly that. This is why it is imperative to spend time within, on your own inner journey of awareness if you are at all serious about spirituality. The inner always expresses outwardly in ways unique to the individual, once they stop seeking to be like or have the gifts of someone else. Keep up the good work, and try not to embrace the illusion through discouragement, fear or even fatigue as the outer scene presents so much to create doubt and fear. Have fun and do the things that make your heart sing, and never forget that the sky will not fall down if you make a mistake. True spirituality is a state of happiness here and now not after a life of long-suffering and self-deprecation, in the belief that happiness only exists in some imagined hereafter. Stay strong dear ones, and know that you are quickly becoming the majority. With thanksgiving and in oneness. We are the Arcturian Group November 19, 2017